Hi Flosstube, Elena here, the stitching farmer. I was just gonna, I just laid my son down for a nap, so I figured I'd do a, um, a quick video to share what I've been doing with you guys. <clears throat> uh, I've been working a lot, it's flu shot season, so the pharmacy gets pretty busy with lots of flu shots. So if you haven't gotten your flu shot yet, go see your local pharmacist. I know we've been staying really busy. Um, next week we're going to Disney World. We're taking our six-year-old. The um, My toddler is going to stay with my in-laws for the week, though. But he'll have fun with them. <clears throat> and then we'll get to ride more rides because he's only two, so it wouldn't be much fun for him or us. I get a little fussy when it's nap time and that sort of thing, but that way we'll get to do more. <clears throat> so I wanted to give a few shout outs. I wanted to thank Julie at Gulf Coast Stitcher. Um, I really enjoy watching her videos. <clears throat> She's funny and she lives not far from me too. So she has her website, Gulf Coast Stitches. I like ordering from her because I usually get it the next day and then I can order based on, you know, when my husband won't be here. So I know I'll, I can get it. So he doesn't see it. <clears throat> she does. Um, she has like a lot of the kind of, um, I guess you say, Americana type designs, Plum, Plum Street Stitchers and um, Little House Needleworks, those type of designs. I like doing those because they're usually pretty quick. So when I'm doing these huge projects, it gives me a nice little break when I can do something in like a couple weeks. Also, one is to thank Leslie Hurley at Fat Cat Flossing um, for the shout out as well. I watched a couple of her videos today and I really enjoyed those too. And then also one more, um, Lorna at Ladybird Stitcher. She's an Australian, so I love listening to her accent and she does a lot of mirabilia. So I like looking at those pieces. <clears throat> and it's interesting to listen to her because she was talking about it's their beginning of spring right now, and over here we're starting fall. So it's just kind of funny how the <clears throat> two hemispheres are so different. You hear my cat meowing at me. She wants pets. Yes. So those are um, a couple people I'd like to thank. Uh, I start out, I got a little finish here. One of the little Lizzie Cates. This is the September... Um, September stamp is what they're called, or the monthly stamps. And then I'm going to start October. So I figured I'd probably, I can get six, and then I have another piece of fabric this size, and I'll do the other six on that. And then I'll just um, back them, and I can hang them, you know, month to month, kind of like uh, I'm sure most people know uh, Priscilla and Chelsea, kind of how they do. I wanted to try to do that with these. It's the... Flippets is what it's called, the stamps. I think they're cute. Um, comes with little buttons there. So I really like this one. It's a little little scarecrow. And I was happy to see that they're going to, um, I guess they're going to give their patterns to 1, 2, 3 stitch to print for them. Or somehow it's going to, they're working out a deal with 1, 2, 3 stitch so they will still be available. So that was great news to hear because there's so many I still want to get, but my budget can't afford to buy them all at once, you know. So I was going to show you again. Um, see the little buttons there on the tree? Kind of like an apple tree. And then I used the variegated floss, so you can see the variegation in the cloud. And really in the um, this right here, like the chalkboard, you can really tell the variegation in the black there. And I just received all the threads. For little bitty pieces like this, I probably should just save my money and do DMC, but I figure maybe I can use them for something else too, but um, there's a lot of the Weeks dye works here. So those are all Weeks dyes. This is the one for the October. And then <clears throat> some sampler threads too. See the variegation in there. They're fun to stitch with. I like, you know, you gotta make sure to do your crosses all at once though and don't do the halves and then come back and do the others because it wouldn't really look right. 
So this, these only take like a week to do, if that long. If you had more time, you could probably do it in like a day or two. But I think it's a cute little fun to bring up the monotony of doing big, huge pieces like I like to do. Um, I didn't really get any progress done on this, but I have it off the uh, scroll. So I figured I'd show it all at once. So I'm still only got the first three. Got to get booking on the, there's three more to go. So hopefully I'll get it done. I really like the, where it says the newt there. I like the ombre effect. I think it's really cute. But I just received um, the new one today, or well, a couple days ago now. So these are free, you just gotta pay for the um, postage. And then I went ahead and um, bought the buttons too. I love the little little bat there. And then this is the um, fifth piece in the design there. I was hoping to get that one done last month, but it just didn't happen. I was, you'll see what I've been working on, but Hopefully by October. I doubt it, but maybe. I don't even know how I'm going to finish this. I'm so bad about actually finishing anything. So probably be next Halloween before this is up. <clears throat> I'll have to get my mother-in-law or something to see if she can do it for me because I have a sewing machine, but I've never used it. But maybe I should try actually finish something myself. So I'll put the button back too. Another one, this was, I did the um, Priscilla and Chelsea, their stitch along, their fall stitch along that they did. So I finished that. And I bought some sticky boards. I was going to try it. I have like a little um, window frame thing that I was going to try to put it on. See how that looks. I thought it turned out cute. I used the variegated threads in it. See it in the roof pretty good in the house. Um, the leaves, you can tell the variegation on there too. This one I think it only took me like a week or two to do. It was a pretty quick stitch. So I was able to get it done. Um, so another one that I'm really trying to finish this year. It's been a whip for Going on three years now, I started it. I think I was pregnant with my youngest. Cause it's, it's his stocking though. I'm trying to get the glare. Sorry guys. This one's probably one of my favorites out of the dimension stockings. This gold is a nightmare to work with though. I thought about switching it out, but I've gotten really far on it. I don't like have that much left to go, mostly just the top and then the dreaded back stitching. I think there's couching involved in this too. So I'll, um, take, I'll take it off the run and roll it for you guys. So as you can see pretty much done other than the top and of course the back stitching. I just love this one. I love the Santa. I love the colors. <clears throat> I love everything about it. And I can't finish these either. I have to give them to my mother-in-law and get her to do it for me because I just don't like to finish anything. There was um, not a whole lot of that gold on this piece, just like in his cuffs there. And some in the garland. <clears throat> There's a lot of half stitches too, so that makes it go a little bit faster. And I think this is one of my favorite Santas. 
Um, so here's the pattern, or the, not the pattern, but the picture of it. So this is cording, this is cording. Go on its hat, all this gold is cording. I'm really dreading that. Anything you have to stitch with two needles, I don't like to do. And then there's some little beads on there too. I hope I haven't lost those. Oh no, there they are. Little gold beads. They go <clears throat> around the name there. So this is, my son's name is Holden. So this will be his stocking. This will be his third Christmas, so hopefully it'll be on my mantle this year. Oh, and I got a little um, needle minder. It says mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. I think I got that from um, Gina's Unique Needle Minders on Etsy. Put it on backwards. Hopefully not be a uh, whip for much longer. Cross your fingers. <clears throat> Let's see what else do I have here. Oh, I did get. Let me stop for a second. I got a couple other things I wanted to show. Um, I got the newest Mirabilia pattern. It's um, March Aqua Marine Fairy. Spent an hour on the viewer trying to figure out what fabric I wanted to use her for. I finally picked out, um, it's like a pale purple, like a purplish rose, I think, from um, Fabrics by Stephanie, but I haven't received it yet, but I'll show it whenever I get it. I don't know if I'm gonna start her right away. My grandmother's a March baby, so maybe I'll give it to her. I do like aquamarines, but my favorite is sapphire. I always wish I was born in September. But I was an October baby, so I got opal, which I like opal too, but I like um, sapphires better. <clears throat> she has lots and lots of beads, so um, if you look at the bead list here, see how long? So, um, a couple crinet colors, there's some Mill Hill treasures. Um, no silks, though. Lots and lots of beads, which I like. I like the bead. Um, let's see, lots of beads in here, as well as on her dress there. See all the, the bead work there. She's so pretty. I was so excited when I saw her. I want to get started on her right away, but... Yeah, hopefully I'll start on her soon. Um, last video... I showed the um, Lizzie Kate. This is the Halloween rules. So I just got the fabric and the, um, I'll show you what it looks like on the back here, all put together. I just got the fabric and the floss a uh, couple days ago. Not sure when I'm going to start that either. Probably not going to have that up by Halloween, but at least I'll have it started and hopefully for next year. I just decided just to do it on the called for fabric, so it's just um, 32 count chestnut linen. I think it's a good Halloween color. Looks fall. And then I went ahead and got the um, hand dyed colors to the variegated flosses. So I just love this blue here. This is called. Uh, this is Ocean by Weeks Dye Works. Love that color. Lots of pretty colors in here. So, so. so I'm excited to start that soon. Wish I had more time to work on stuff. But. I try to at least get an hour or two at night at least. Um, I usually try to put my kids to bed around 7.30 or 8, and then I usually stay up till 10 or 11, stitching. 
<clears throat> then I'll show you what I've been working on a lot. Let me flip the camera around there for you. That way I can show it off a little bit better. All right, so I'm back here. This is my progress on my Chatelaine. This is um, Mystery 20, Versailles. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold it steady, but it is a bit wobbly. All right, so I have finished the Iris Gardens. Aren't those pretty? Look at all those rice stitches there. Those took me forever. And then the irises and then little purple flowers. These are Jessica stitches. These are just long stitches there. Some eyelets there. I love the way the fountain turned out. Which I think I showed that in my last video. So those were all the same. All four of them. No change in color there. See the use of the variegated thread? It really looks pretty on there, going from the blue to the yellow. And there, and variegated silk in the um, irises as well. Then on the sides here, so you can see lots of variegation in this color. That was a wildflower there. It was a real thick thread. You can just use one ply with it. See um, roads, an eyelet. There will be a tile that goes in there. I finished back stitching this garden, fan garden as well. So just two more left to go. See the two that haven't been done? It does make a big difference. Now I'm working on these little gardens on the side here. I wish that the camera would pick up a little bit better. You can kind of tell that it's sparkly. But all, almost all these threads are sparkled. The green is sparkly. This is, and then the one in the, um, the dark brown in the middle is the metallic thread there. So that's my progress so far on Versailles. focus a little bit better there. I really love the way the uh, um, iris gardens turned out. The variegation I think really shows up well on it. I'm working on this one right now. There will be some Jessica stitches in there. Been um, listening to Harry Potter audiobooks while stitching this. I really want to watch season two of Versailles, but. I've just been so into the audiobooks right now, I haven't watched it yet. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my progress on my Tatalane. I've been doing a lot of work on it. And I've got a couple more hauls to show you. Alright, so I figured I'd give you one more look. <coughs> I Me mean, not moving it around, or moving the camera around. So. There it is. I have really enjoyed working on this project. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of headache too. I know sometimes those rice stitches aren't a joy to work on. I keep having to refer back to the graph on them. 
but there is um, really good diagrams that come with her patterns. Yeah, I wouldn't start with this one though if you ever want to do a chatelaine. <laughs> Probably um, maybe start with one of her smaller ones. But uh, I love this little needle minder here. It's like the spell book in Hocus Pocus. It's one thing that we're going to at Disney World is um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And they have this um, big show where, with the Hocus Pocus, the three witches and, and some of the other uh, scary characters, a lot of the villains like Maleficent and <clears throat> some of those other ones. It's a lot of fun though. I really like the parade too and they put on an awesome parade at night for the Not So Scary Halloween Party. And the desserts. Oh, I could just go to Disney and eat desserts. <clears throat> I also got this cute little project bag. That's what I have my um, horrific Halloween pattern in and all my threads. This is, I got this on Etsy. It's Mama Joan. Since I live by the ocean, I like a lot of nautical themed. So I thought this was really cute. I might get a Christmas one for uh, if I decide to get another one. Mm. But it's really put together well. I like because I can see what's in it. So I don't have to open it every time. I, I can just look. So that was, I really like that piece too that I just got. Well, that's about all I have for right now. Um, hopefully I'll get around to do another one in a couple weeks and maybe I'll have some more progress on one of these projects. Well, thank, um, thank you for watching.